Uh, welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Metopia on the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we finally caught up with the evil genie of the lamp, Jafar, and we started chanting the incantation to trap the genie within the lamp. Now, whilst we were trying to capture him within the lamp, he started pleading for mercy and told me that if I let him go, he will be a good boy and return all of the treasure that he stole to the good people of Next Door Tan. So we let him go and he has now zapped off to Next Door Tan. So we're going to head back to Next Door Tan now and we're going to make sure that the genie has given all of the treasure back to the good people of Next Door Tan and then we were going to and then we are going to find out what we have to do next because we did come but we did come to the kingdom of Next Door to try and find the evil dark lord uh, Dr Neo Cortex but then we got sidetracked with this new mission to uh, take down the genie uh, that had stole the treasure from Next Door Tan you could blame Mario for all of this because it was Mario that released the uh, the genie to begin with. <laughs> I'm very sorry for what I did. Here's all your treasure back. <laughs> Shiny. Ah, <laughs> speak of the devil. Ah, oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, just when you thought things were about to get better. People of next door, I have a little present for you. I hope you like the taste of despair. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, we already know what's going to happen now, don't we? We already know what's going to happen. Uh, apologies, uh, <laughs> apologies if that intro was a little bit naff. Um, I'm a little bit sidetracked at the moment because when I woke up this morning, at the corner of my eye, I swear to God, I saw a spider run along the floor, a big one, and I, I think it went under my bed. Now, I'm sitting on the uh, edge of my bed at the moment making this video, and if it decides to run out from under my bed, it's going to be right near my feet. I'm wearing slippers at the moment purely for that reason and it's 27 degrees today and I'm still wearing slippers just in case I see it I can jump on the gear but yeah it's kind of it's bothering me at the moment so if my commentary was a bit naff during that intro I do apologize I was just thinking about the fact that I might get killed by a spider today <laughs> oh dear I'm sure if any of you Australians are watching this uh, video you're probably thinking to yourself what a pussy we get tarantulas in our country but yeah yeah, I am a pussy when it comes to spiders and wasps and bees. You there, lad. Hear an old man out, will you? Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Now the Dark Lord's gone and made short work of us. It was terrifying. Took the tans people's faces clean off. Thwap. Makes the genie of the lamp look like a pushover. Never seen a more dastardly evil mastermind in my life. What's the Dark Lord think he's playing at? Yeah, what's he playing at? He even stole poor Trotter's face. Oh no, not Del Boy. You can't just do that to people. She had the sweetest smile out of anyone I know. Oh, Trotter's a girl. I thought it was maybe Del Boy. <laughs> Del Boy Trotter. The Dark Lord zipped off to the pyramid in the north. Please, you lot, teach him a lesson, would you? Okay, so he's go the Dark Lord has gone to the pyramid, but um, we're going to have to spend a substantial amount of time rescuing the Tans people's faces. So we can't just go directly to the pyramid because we need to save everybody's face first. So, well, what we'll do is we'll go around the minimap today and we will save all of the people's face on the minimap that are in just like uh, simple locations which will take a few seconds to rescue and then maybe at the end of this video or in the next video we'll start heading to the pyramid and then I think that's where we'll get the remaining few villagers faces and probably meet up with uh, the evil dark lord Dr. Neo Cortex. Okay. It didn't actually show me, um, it didn't actually show me any of the locations on the map. And it also got rid of the quiz master and also that little golden bug that I needed to, needed to battle to get some gold. I was going to do it later, god damn it, I should have done it straight away. Oh, the quiz master's over there now, that's why. 
Um, let me quickly click on the villagers so I can actually see where they are. I thought it would come up on the map naturally. This is Trotter. I think her face is in the pyramid. Yeah, she's in the pyramid. These two, I think, are together somewhere. They might be near the... Oh, they're also in the pyramid. Okay. So we need to find... I think Priscilla... Oh, no. Also, the genie, I think, lost his face as well. Because there's a lot of people that lost their face. Did you even listen to a word I said? I mean, he's kind of lost his face. And he didn't have any ears to begin with. So I've got no idea how he can hear you anyway, to be honest, uh, Bree. I said that this Dark Lord's being a real nuisance, isn't he? You just don't care about any of this, do you? How stupid can you be? You can very clearly see he's lost his face. What an idiot. Ah, here we go. This is the ones I was trying to find. Because there's a couple on the mini-map you need to rescue first. And you may as well do those before you head into the pyramid. Because I think you've got to rescue them all first anyway. Before you can get through the final door and rescue... Um, the dark, uh, the uh, genie of the lamp's face. I think she's also on the mini map as well somewhere. I think she might be near the oasis. How can you be in there? All right, well, we might as well head back in there and rescue Priscilla's face first then. Right, let's head off then. Right, so we're gonna get Priscilla first and then we're gonna go and head to the uh, left of the pyramid and get the other guy's face and then we're gonna go inside the pyramid after. I don't think it takes too long. I think it's just basically a bunch of like little boss battles. Although there is a bit of faffing around inside the pyramid. Multiple different routes you can take and all that good stuff. We really need to sort out our armour. I mean, uh, Rob the Priest is looking a bit better, but my outfit looks like arse. <laughs> I had the best dream last night. Oh yeah? What was it? I, a literal mountain of gold coins fell down on me. And I was so deeply buried in money. I couldn't breathe at all. It was a total nightmare. So what you're saying is, it wasn't really the best dream. Sounds more like a flipping nightmare. But yeah, we've got to sort out Beowulf's armour, and also uh, the Macabre Gamer's armour as well, because we look horrendous at the moment. Ah, oh, flipping out! if only uh, the Macabre Gamer had his uh, new scientist ability, he could take down all of them in one fell swoop. Unless we can use the, uh, unless we can use Sonic to like, just slap them all. Doesn't look like Sonic wants to help at the moment, I think. This is going to take a lot longer than it would do normally. <laughs> Oh, that's going to help out a bit, actually. There we go. Good job, Macabre. Good job, mate. And good job, Sora, as well, I guess. <laughs> um, we might as well use a Flombe on someone. A bit overkill, but screw it. God damn, mate. 48 damage. This is why we need Keely in the crew. We should have put uh, someone as a... Oh, don't start Macabre, come on. <laughs> we don't want to start this video off with an argument. I should have made someone in my team a mage. Oh, a bit late, Sonic. We needed you at the beginning of the battle. more hieroglyph toast. I think uh, that was good for the uh, magic characters, wasn't it? Oh, thank God it's Sora digging this up. Because Macabre gave up uh, a couple of videos back because he was being too lazy. <laughs> uh, we'll dig it up. Sometimes you get gold from doing it, so we might as well uh, take a gamble. I don't know if you can dig up monsters or anything like that, though, so it could be a risk. Dig it up. Right. I love how they just watch. They don't even attempt to help. 
Yeah, because Macabre Gamer walked off now and gave up. <laughs> Keep digging, come on. There's got to be something good down there. Yeah, see? How much did we get? Huh, 100 gold ain't bad. Yeah, 100 gold ain't bad. I'm happy with that. I mean, nobody would be unhappy if they went into the woods and dug up a, uh, a random hole and then got themselves 100 uh, quid, would they? I think they'd be pretty damn happy. I know I sure as hell would be. Oh, no, not the plants. Oh, these are annoying as hell. They eat your flipping characters. Make sure you hit the uh, flower first. Oh, Sora! Man, you're complimenting each other a lot today. I really do like this game. This is like the perfect game for YouTube, to be honest. Well done, Rob. Didn't have to worry about any of my uh, teammates being eaten. <laughs> this is such a great game for YouTube, though, ain't it? Ah, oh, brilliant! This is the one. A deadly concoction that deals a great damage to all enemies. Magic. This is the uh, skill I was talking about. This is what I used all the time when uh, I made Bee Wolf a scientist in my off-camera playthrough. The, uh, the priest actually learns a really good uh, AoE heal much, much later in the game. I think you need to get him to like level 15 or something. But it's a very, very good uh, ability. They heal the whole team for quite a lot. It's, it's a brilliant move. Yeah, but after after finishing this, this off camera, I reckon we're going to have at least 50 episodes of this game. It's going to be a ridiculously long playthrough. Probably one of the longest on this channel. <laughs> it's going to be up there with like uh, The Last of Us Part 2 and God of War and Ghost of Tsushima. Um, who, who am I in? The, who is Sora in the room with? Makaba? I can't remember who Sora is in the room with. It might be me, actually. It doesn't matter, as long as we get everybody's relationship to level 6, as I always say. I thought we were going to um, rescue Priscilla. Or is... Uh, must be another level after this one, then. I thought you only had to do, like, one level. I didn't sleep much last night. Oh no, what happened? It turns out that you talk quite loudly in your sleep. Oh no, sorry about that. <laughs> you kept saying it's going to be okay. Really? Why is it uh, certain conversations in this game are like extremely fast and I've got to read like supersonic speed? Oh look, level 6, brilliant. So some conversations you can read it in your own pace and then you can press A to go to the next speech bubble. And in other conversations they just start talking like flipping super quick. Right, what is Beowulf and Sora on? I think we were already level 6, ain't we? No, we're level five. We're nearly level six. How comes I don't have a relationship with uh, Rob yet? That's a bit weird. I thought we would already be on like... Huh, guess not. Oh, well, I don't mind. I have to start building a relationship with him after. Oh, sweet, here we go. <laughs> Get some uh, cute little oven mitts. Just what you need when you're trying to scratch an enemy to death. Flipping oven mitts. You definitely want to upgrade your cat character though because they dish out so much damage as they level up and they get better armor and weapons and stuff. Oh, finally, look at that. That is his first armor upgrade and Macabre has been with me since the beginning of this new section. You better buy this Macabre, I'll be livid. Yeah, good, well done. You definitely need some armor upgrades. You're starting to get hit too hard at the moment. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. He looks like uh, one of the scientists from uh, Crash Bandicoot like that. I like the goggles as well. We're going to make it... We're going to make it green. Because uh, who the hell doesn't love a nice green jacket? It looks a little bit like uh, the Riddler from Batman. <laughs> That's a game I should do on YouTube one day. Uh, I already did Telltale uh, Walking Dead and Telltale Wolf Among Us. We've got to wait for Wolf Among Us Season 2 to come out. And I'm pretty sure uh, Telltale Games are going to be releasing that as like a, uh, a complete game instead of episodic, which I'm very, very happy about that. But uh, we need to do uh, the Batman 
the two Batman games, because they were brilliant. If you've never played Telltale Games Batman, I recommend them massively. They're very, very good stories. And I like how they made the Joker. They really, really implemented the Joker in a cool way. They made him very different to what he's normally like in the Batman series. Oh, sweet, we got some cheesecake. I mean, I did want to get the, uh, I did want to get the staff for Rob the Priest, but never mind. <laughs> I don't even know where I got these from. I probably got a letter whilst I was setting everything up. Every time you turn this game on, you always seem to get a letter from someone. There we go. I forgot to hold down the B button to speed it up. Yeah, that's going to look very manly in Rob the Priest's hand, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, look how manly he looks now. That's quite a big upgrade, actually. Doesn't really go very well with a wicker basket hat and uh, robe, though. Free outing tickets? Jesus! I might save that for uh, probably the next video because I want to at least get as many residents uh, as possible rescued today so we can at least start the pyramid at the end of this video or in the next video. Uh, any grub? Oh yeah, I forgot Beowulf was an absolute freak that didn't like cheesecake. <laughs> Oh, well, at least Bacaba Game has got taste buds. And Rob the Priest has got um, taste buds as well. Now we've just got to hope Sora's got taste buds. Oh, yeah, so Sora's definitely got bloody taste buds. Well done. <laughs> hey, why do you hate it? You need it. You've got, to eat your ve you've got to eat your vegetables. This is the equivalent of eating your vegetables. It's good to force feed them to eat stuff they hate, because it still does increase their stats a little bit. I bet you're very content. That's the first time you've had a hamburger, a beef burger, in like flipping four years. <laughs> so I bet you're very content. Alright, this should this should lead straight to Priscilla now. Yeah, this is where Priscilla's gonna be. Is that a new outfit? You look super snazzy. Look a hell of a lot better than you looked before. Hmm, yeah, not bad. Hey, don't start trying to be modest. Don't start trying to be modest. You know you look good, Macabre. You know you look good. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh, we're in level 7 now, aren't we? Oh, Jesus. The get well soon perk is not really that useful really because I very rarely put people in a safe spot. I think I spoke about this a couple of videos back but a safe spot's good when you get near like the somewhat late stage of the game when you're close to finishing it because a lot more enemies have really irritating attacks and stuff where they're going to like set you on fire or put you asleep and things like that so you're going to want to use the uh, safe spot a lot more but in this stage of the game it's worthless. A bit like how Macabre refuses to ever use the glitch ability. <laughs> I mean, this is a good power, though. Buffing everybody's weapons. Uh, let's use the flambe attack just to make sure they actually die. It's annoying, though, because the moles love to dodge. Oh! <laughs> Why did I say it? Why did I say it? I jinxed myself. I like how they're wearing sunglasses. They look like Stevie Wonder, don't they? I like how Macabre buffed everyone's weapon but mine. I take great offence to that. I'm feeling very singled out now. There we go, finally used his glitch ability. It just does a hell of a lot more damage than just smacking people with a test tube. Right, we should see Priscilla now. I'll give that to Rob. Oh, look at that. That Strata Sunday. Oh, yes, I wouldn't mind one of those bad boys. And bitingly bitter tea. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think that's got relevant uh, buffs for uh, Bee Wolf, so I can't even give him the tea. And I don't think he liked it anyway. The Bee Wolf in this game is nothing like the Bee Wolf in real life. Why the long face? You know you can tell me if you're worried about anything, right? Or do more jogging. It's a great release. 
Ah, maybe I should be setting a, an example here. I like how you said to the horse, why the long face? That's a bit offensive to the poor horse. Now, here we go. Here we go, here's Priscilla. Eek! Oh, Jesus, you got a face stuck on some bloody artwork. Priscilla. <laughs> Just Priscilla, nothing else. Oh, look. Those snakes are dodgy. What are those weird things on their shoulders? It's like they're wearing shoulder pads. We want to kill the snakes first. I just don't get, I, I don't understand why they get so happy about uh, somebody saying you did it. <laughs> oh, Macabre's low on mana. We'll have to give him some sprinkles. What are you using that for? I mean, I'm happy you're using it, but there's only two enemies. Normally you don't use it until you've got like five or so enemies here. Bloody hell, mate, that damage. Right, let me give some sprinkles to everybody. Some mana. I don't have that many mana sprinkles, to be honest. Right. Uh. Right, oh, come on then. Come on then, Sonic. That's yeah, it's alright, damage. I don't think it was as much damage as my uh, flambe ability would have been, though. Bloody hell. Oh! Oh no! You didn't need to eat a banana yet, come on! There we go. It's mostly because none of you gits want me to get you any new weapons or armor. That's why you take a ridiculous amount of damage. Why, what is your problem? Use your flipping abilities, Macabre. Stop smacking people with a glass tube. It don't do damage. It's like he thinks he's in a club and he's trying to bottle people. Oh, God. Oh, I swear to God, Sora. <laughs> Stop eating bananas and do some damage. It sees so much more damage. I should have probably have healed people, actually. Oh no, he didn't use the AOE attack this time. Oh, this is going to hit hard. Oh, 62, Jesus. Thank you, Rob. Oh, don't start doing that, Macabre. Man, you're being really irritating today, you are. <laughs> Might have to take you out of the team if you carry on. Go on, finish it. Come on, please, finish it. Yeah, that's it. Everyone help me. It's got to be nearly dead now. Oh, no. <laughs> Calm down after being complimented. <laughs> <clears throat> Practically didn't even take advantage of her compliment though because she, because she just kept eating bananas. I'm saved. That weren't a piece of cake. We all nearly flipping died. Uh. Oh, sweet. Delicious fried cobra. I think that uh, increases your health and also your um, your attack. So good for Sora and Beowulf. We've got a lot of time on our hands today. Time for a new look, me thinks. Oh no, not again! <laughs> not again! It's funny when they do it because they're bald. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it they all keep turning themselves into anime characters? Of all the hairstyles in this game, you just become anime characters. 
You two must be very big fans of anime. <laughs> Bloody hell, level 7. I'm Ian Sora, level 6 yet. No, let me quickly send us out on an outing. Uh, we'll, we'll go, we'll go to the cinema. I ain't been to the cinema since March 2020, so... Well, come on you two, we ain't got time for this slow walking stuff, come on. <laughs> Step on the gas. That's true. That pile of popcorn don't seem to be going down. I'm flipping on my popcorn just to fight gravity then. Did you see that? Not a single popcorn fell out. It must be like really sticky like toffee popcorn or something. Oh. <laughs> see, Sora's got her priorities right. She ate all the popcorn. Who cares about the film? That's why you go to the cinema to eat popcorn. It's bloody expensive though. Seriously, you can get two tickets Two tickets in the, in the view near my home, because uh, the one I go to is £5, it's a bit cheaper. I think it might be because there's another cinema very close by. You know that Premier, Premier uh, Cinema? I think it is. Premier? Something like that, I can't remember the name of it, but because it's so close, I think they lowered the price at view. But it's uh, 4 99 per person to go to view. And to get just a popcorn, a large one, it's like 11 quid. Ridic you could get two more people in the cinema to watch the film for that. I just normally go to like Sainsbury's or Asda or something and just buy like Butter Kiss or something like that popcorn. I don't see the point in spending big money. 11 quid is good though, it is worth the money. 11 quid on that delicious, uh, sweet flavoured popcorn, but yeah. Bloody 11 quid. Ridiculous. Right, let's switch the rooms around then. There we go. Quickly eat some grub. Yeah, nobody seems to like the tea. Defense and speed. Uh. There's something wrong with you. There is really something wrong with you, Beowulf. <laughs> you don't like any food. The stuff you like is stuff I wouldn't even like in real life. It's weird. Now, we've only rescued one person in this video. I thought we would have rescued about... At least three. Because <laughs> you have to do so much faffing around in the inn. That's what takes so much time. Okay, we're going to start heading towards... I only just noticed you've got a King Fat Princess in the distance. Yeah, look! <laughs> start making our way towards uh, the pyramid now. We have to go to the left first though, because there's another one of the uh, villagers there. People's faces have been stolen here too. What could the Dark Lord want with all these faces anyway? Well, we're never going to find out. Unless we follow him. After that Dark Lord. Yeah, woo. <laughs> oh yeah. We are bad. <laughs> oh man. I actually need to end the video now. I completely didn't even notice the time. But yeah. Thanks for watching Wolf Wolves, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.